Guys, this is recent. Hello everybody, my name is Skipperdog65 and welcome to an episode of Minecraft. Now I'm doing this on the new Better Together version of Minecraft and I'm starting a new series called Finding Herobrine or any other entities. Obviously that's not going to be in the title because that is way too darn long. But in this series we are basically going to be trying to find Herobrine and other mythical entities that are rumored to be inside of Minecraft. Now as you just saw, I put my um, seed on 666, a truly very bad number, but I'm hoping that'll give me a chance to find some of these freaks that have been rumored to exist over the past eight years Minecraft has been around. I need to make a base before something tries to kill me. I don't exactly know much about summoning Herobrine or much of the red steve, blue steve. Honestly, I don't really believe in green, red, blue, and Law Steves. Uh, I just think they were made to cash in on the whole en Entity 303 and Herobrine thing. But regardless of my personal opinion, we will be trying everything to summon these guys. And I've heard that the juke boxes and the putting disc 11 and disc 13 into them is a recent thing that people like to do these days. I don't honestly know why people try to scare themselves to death, but you know what, that's what people do. And now we're gonna be building a base. So I'm gonna try to get the materials from around the world, around me, definitely not from around the world, because that's a big, ooh, that's a long way to go for just some materials to build a little house. But we need to make it not so much out of wood, because if Herobrine is real and we do summon him, then he will probably burn it down very easily. If you guys want to see stuff burning down, click the link in the description below and the eye in the top right corner of your screen that will show you some of my encounters with the mythical Herobrine. Nighttime is prime time to find Herobrine. Oh, it's such a beautiful sky. Thank you, sheepy. Don't need you, piggy. Ah, why do all the sheep disappear just as soon as I need a bed? Because if you check back in the earlier, uh, earlier part of the video, then you'll know that there were a bunch of sheep just walking around. But as soon as I need a bed, they all disappear. I think they can read my mind. I'm not gonna blame everything on Herobrine because I know a lot of people. Gosh, everything's turning red. That's creepy. Okay, that's kind of creepy. But, um, I know in a lot of videos where people are searching for Herobrine, they like to blame everything. Oh, Creeper. Oh, you can move fast, can't you? But yeah, I know a lot of the time people like to blame stuff on Herobrine when it's really not Herobrine, probably just the mobs despawn. So I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to do that because I think it's just a bad idea and it makes everything less scary. Oh! Oh, okay, okay, I need to, I need to go, I need to go, guys, I really, really do. Unless I want to die, I don't, so I'm going to need to really book it here. Okay, so I'm fine now. Okay, guys, I'm back here, and there's this creeper there, good grief. Uh, another one actually came to my door and blew it up, but, um, it only destroyed the door for some reason. So I'm going to try to get this one away from my door, I don't want to have to replace it again. Please don't blow up! Thank you. Dead. Okay. Whew. So I actually got some stairs here, and I almost died twice. I fell through this hole. Um. 
So yeah, uh, I've got a decent base established. I keep mixing my words, I'm sorry. I keep trying to talk fast, but I really can't do that without mixing my words. And we're gonna try to actually go gather some resources, but first I need to build some fences. So we've got that, and I'm gonna make like a little fence around here because I've got enough for it. Uh, yeah, I've got enough of this. So yeah, I'm gonna try to make a fence so I can go in it, and if monsters try to follow me, they can't. So it's gonna offer enough to where I can at least escape monsters. Because I'm not planning on staying out here all night, because that is not a good idea whatsoever. It doesn't matter what kind of armor you've got, there's always gonna be something that can kill you, and I don't want something to kill me, and I lose my armor because I don't have post privileges on. Okay, so I've got my fence right here, so I'll be able to at least, if a monster chase me, I'll at least be able to run up here. Monsters hopefully won't be able to spawn up here. I'll probably make a little garden right here, I don't know. I mean, in this world of terrible white-eyed serial killers, I at least have to have a little beauty, right? So we're actually going to go and try to start mining. Why are these things still burning. I don't, I don't know, maybe they were just under a tree or some sort. So we're finally back at the base. Um, that cave experience was very interesting to say the least because I fell into a huge cave, which we will be exploring more, but I didn't think it was safe to be carrying all this iron and lose all of it again. Okay, guys, I have gotten my armor. No, I have actually gotten some reinforcement on my wall so that now they can't come up here. But the fences, oh, they're just not working. I'm going to have to use them for something else because the fences just don't work. They don't keep the monsters out at all because a skeleton can still shoot me through the wall. So I'm still not perfectly safe, but I want to get perfectly safe. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. But, yeah, so I think this has to be the end of the episode. So, oh, it's raining now. Come on, I just got away from these stupid things. Ah. Uh. Uh. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to have to call it the end of the episode. Guys, this is recent. Next episode.